glory, and inspiration 24 hours a day. UBM Praise Chicago, a service of the UBM Networks. The following show is paid programming and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. Let's go. A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. What's his name? A Sir Walter Jones. Who show is it? A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. Say it again. A Sir Walter Jones. Who are you with? A Sir Walter Jones. One more again. A Sir Walter Jones. The Sir Walter Jones Show. Co host Alvin Carter. We are a Christian talk show in where we tackle all the hot topics in a believer's walk. A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. What's his name? A Sir Walter Jones. Jesus. A lot of sickness going on, uh, and uh, many of us, our, our family members are dying, and uh, we're disheartened. We're losing our faith and our hope. Uh, we're discouraged. We think that God is, uh, has not heard our prayers and our cries, and I wanted to do this show to remind you, to tell you that that is not so, that God is still as y'all would say, in the blessing business. And he is still ready and willing and able to heal you. If you want it, you can have it. Uh, it's just that there's some things that we need you to do so that you could be uh, ready to receive the healing of the Lord. I have uh, my brother here, and then Keisha Smith walked in, and we're going to kind of go take you through some steps here. Uh, and what we want you to do is um, what's probably going to happen here is Facebook is going to allow me to record this for an hour or so, and then it's going to cut out, and then I'm going to come back on, as I do every day, with a Facebook Live feed, all right? And then you guys, will you'll see the notifications. Actually, if you would like, if you sh why don't you just go to my wall or, or your wall or however you do this on Facebook and, and hit me as a favorite, and that way you'll see all of my notifications uh, and then you can cut it off <laughs> after today because I know sometimes you don't want to get all these notifications from p people who post. I'm not one of those people who post every five minutes on Facebook. I hate that. Hate it with a passion. I post maybe two or three times a day. I post once for my four o'clock show and then uh, I post my Spreaker show after that and then maybe a good night post. I don't do that five minute every five minute post. I hate it. Hated with a passion, so um, so you won't be uh, getting abused notifications from me if you add me as your favorite, so you can get these notifications here. All right, 
Um, go to my notes here so that I can be on point and on cue here. I've got a lot of names that you've sent me for those of you who are in need of healing. Not just you, but many of your family members are in need. And uh, I want to uh, take you through some steps here. Okay. Um, also, what I'm probably going to do, uh, for those of you who are, um, I, uh, you can't listen to us live on the Urban Broadcast Media because our app is down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video here and I'm going to to uh, edit it and splice it. Don't don't fool with nothing over there because we don't have the right people here. Uh, I don't. Mm -mm. I let him do it because if something go bad, then I can't fix it. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, make a video. I uh, take this video and link it or sync it with the Spreaker, so that way when you guys go back on here, maybe another couple of days, you'll see this video, but you'll also be hearing what we hear as far as the music is concerned, uh, so that uh, you can be in sync. And then what you can do with this video is share it with your loved ones, those who are sick. Uh, take this to the hospital rooms and let it play for those who uh, are discouraged, feel that God is not going to heal them and that the doctor gave them six weeks to die. You know, um, as long as breath is going, passing through your circulatory system, uh, you don't have to worry about folk giving you doom and gloom stuff. As long as you're breathing, there's an opportunity. And those who stop breathing, God gave them an opportunity too, Elder Jones. That's right. Yeah, yes, he, he pumped right. life back into him. Yes, he did. So one guy was dead for four days. Four days, so what? Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, that guy in the Bible was dead for four days. Uh, there is a Jewish custom that says that your soul hovers over you for three days. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you r rake up within those three days, that means you wasn't really dead. That's right. So Jesus had to wait for Four the fourth day. day. That's right. Purposely. Because, purposely. Because he knew the practice he knew it. of those people. Mm -hmm. If he had raised Lazarus on the second or third day, mm -hmm. uh, beginning of the third day, then there would have been doubts. There would have been doubts. And, all over the place. And that's why in many cases that he has to wait until we have, is my word, exasperated mm -hmm. all of the medical helps, yes. pills, and everything. Once we have done everything and it still did not take place, it gives God an opportunity to come in to heal us mm -hmm. so that he is glorified and no one else is. That's right. So it's the same way uh, with the man that got healed, Lazarus. After his three-day syndrome, the people then knew he was dead because of their culture. Because of their culture. Then Jesus was able to come in on the fourth day after all hearts knew that this man, because his sister says, surely, surely he stinketh by now. <laughs> and that's when God wants to work in our lives, when we stink. When we stinketh. By now. By now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Brittany, what we did was we changed mics here. He has my mic, so make sure you get him a good level. I have Alvin's mic, so it's, it's, it's strong. Um, I mean, you can keep it there, but I want him as, as strong as myself. Uh Let's see. There are files there, Brittany. Uh, I got the. Um, I don't have the little disc. I got the the old external disc there. Yeah. All right, and it's under healing. Because I have that, I'm gonna gonna ask you to start playing some stuff really, really, really soon. Um, let's see. Okay, Ella Jones and uh, Akisha, touch your mic. How you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, Make sure she's up. To, yeah. Say that again. I am well. Oh, that's better. Much, much better. <laughs> yeah, much, much better. Can you sit over here so that I don't, I don't, want, I don't want nobody just sitting there while I'm, because I'm going to be moving the video around. Uh, okay. L. Jones, I think we need to start this thing off just right. Mm -hmm. I want to go to the Lord's Prayer. Okay. Matthew 6 and 9. If we can go there, please. Matthew. And um, you can help us out with this Matthew 6 and 9. Matthew 6 and, and 9. If you can go there too, um, that way we can all be in sync. Those of you who have your Bibles at home, 
you can go to Matthew 6 and 9. Let's just do some Bible study before we start our prayers and our intercessions and uh, our psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs uh, because the people always ask God for healing, but we keep self-inflicting ourselves True. with bad habits. Uh, and number two, um, what we have done is we go and ask God for stuff without knowing uh, the template on how to, to go to God. Now, L. Jones, is this the Lord's, is this Jesus' prayer, or this is the prayer that we're supposed to do verbatim? This is the disciples' prayer, mm -hmm. and it is a pattern prayer. It okay. is not a verbatim, mm -hmm. though he won't whoop you if you do it verbatim. It is a pattern. Okay. It is a style. It, this, is, this is a template that you would use. And we say he, had, he laid out at least five steps in this prayer. Five steps in this prayer. Yes. Okay. Well, you want me to read it mm -hmm. and uh, you take us through it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Matthew 6, 9. Uh, it starts this. After this manner, therefore, pray. Okay. Let me go up first. Um, because uh, Jesus, let's see. This is the prayer. And when thou prayest, uh, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. Mm -hmm. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue mm -hmm. and in the corners of the streets that they may uh, be seen of men. A very last thing to you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which sees in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as I see in church quite a bit, mm -hmm. as the heathens do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, be not ye therefore like uh, unto them, for the, your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. Before you ask him. Before you ask him, he yeah. already know what he you need. Already know. Okay. He know what you need before mm -hmm. you're born. Yes, that's so true. Yeah. And then he knew the very hour that you was going to ask him. Yes, sir. F fathers, we do that even today. We know mm -hmm. what our kids need, but sometimes yes. we just want them to ask. That's true. Mm hmm. Well, then he, he enters with this. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Mm -hmm. All right, you can stop me at any time. Mm -hmm. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Mm -hmm. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And this is the part where many of uh, the Catholics stop mm -hmm. uh, because th that's another show. Yes. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All right. What's happening here? So, first of all, let me, let me uh, put in there that there are two types of prayers. Okay. There's petition and then there's intercession. One, which is petition, that's when you come to God for yourself. With your petitions, your petition is a request that you have uh, before the Lord. Then there is an intercessory prayer. That's when you pray on the behalf of others, which we know that the Holy Ghost is an intercessor prayer as well. The mm -hmm. Bible says we know not what to pray for as we are. Right. But the Spirit maketh intercessions for us. Is that tongues? No. Okay. No. Because no. we mixed that up. Right, right. But you can you can't pray with tongues. Right, but this particular scripture this no, it's not tongues. It's referring to the spirit the spirit. makes mm -hmm. the utterance, not he so much you. Exactly. Which sure. and he's, that's why the Bible said with utterings or words that cannot be uttered. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's it's beyond our human comprehension and beyond our human language. Right. That there is a conversation with God and the Holy Spirit that really takes place within us because the Bible said that he that searches the heart so while we're praying, God is searching our heart. Right. And the Holy Spirit is praying for us and making intercessions for us according to the will of God. Mm -hmm. So then the first thing Jesus gives us is what we call adoration. Yes. So he opens up with, uh, there again, I said that there are five key points in the Lord's Prayer because it is a format of how to reach God. If you notice, Jesus never lost a battle when he prayed to God. Mm -hmm. And so he's so beautiful and so wise and so loving, he's trying to give us a secret on how to reach God. Mm. So the first thing he introduces to us is adoration. 
our Father. Adoration, we're honoring him. Uh, they say when you speak to someone, the first thing you ad- do is address who you're speaking to. Right. So you're saying, our Father. How does that go? Our Father, which art in, in heaven. heaven. All right. Hallowed be thy name. Uh, God is holy. God is powerful. God is great. And the first thing we want to do when we pray to God is we want to recognize him. And we want to adore him or we want to praise him. We want to magnify him. I say this, never really just approach God begging him. Right. When you approach God, and I, I do this demonstration whenever I teach on this, I do a demonstration. I ask my wife to come and stand before the people. And then I look at her and I tell her how beautiful she is and how gorgeous she is. I love her eyes and all that. And it never fails. She giggles and she laughs and she just busts out laughs and blushes. Uh-huh. And I tell the fellas, see what I'm saying? Don't you think that God would love for you to approach him by telling him how awesome he is rather than just begging God? So the first thing he introduces is adoration. Start to praising God, Mm -hmm. regardless of how bad the situation is. Because remember, Lazarus was dead for four days. Right. And and I use this term. He was dead, but Jesus undead him. Undead him. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus left, he was no longer dead. That's right. Then the second thing of this uh, point is called submission. Uh, your will be done, right? Uh, where is that? Can we go back uh-huh. to just read it? Uh, the man Our see. Father. Mm-hmm. Which on heaven, mm-hmm. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom name. come, thy right. will be done. That's submission. Yes. We, we want to do the will of God. We want his will to be done in our lives, and then we want to find ourselves doing the will of God. So the first thing is adoration, praising God, adoring God. The second step is submission, submitting to the will of God. Now, sometimes we may not like what his will is, right? but you still got to submit to his will. And then the third thing, that's when you're asking, what, what did he say after that? Mm-hmm. Uh, that? That will be done uh, on earth as, uh, as, as it is in heaven, heaven. Uh-huh. then give us. Give us. That's it. Number three is supplication. That's when you begin to ask God. Mm-hmm. That's when you begin to lay out your petition before God. After you have adored him and after you have submitted to him, uh, submitted unto him, and then there's supplication, asking for your daily provisions, and don't be so greedy. Yes. Then he say, give us this day, right? This day. You're asking God for your daily provisions. And then you're asking him. Now, here's the thing. The Bible says in First John, if you ask God for anything that's according to his will, he hear you. Yes. If you know that he hear you, then you will have the petitions that you need because you're asking him for something that he, it is his will. And I always ask people, is healing the will of God? Right. If healing is the will of God, then the minute you ask him for healing, he hears you. Mm-hmm. God does not want nobody sick. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what they say. He don't want nobody sick. To prove it, he sent his son Jesus to die for Amen. us to be healed. Amen. Right. And he would never work against the blood of his own son. Yeah. That's true. If he will send Jesus to die, and the Bible says with his traps we are healed, why would he take pleasure in us being sick? Mm. So then number four would be repentance. What did he say after uh, asking for daily provisions? Mm-hmm. Give us a day of daily bread and, and forgive us our forgive debts. Forgive us. So number four is repentance. Ask God to forgive us. Mm-hmm. because. And notice what he said, our debts. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that tells me something. D-E-B-T yes. is a sin. In other words, you owe something to your brother. Right, and it doesn't always mean money. It doesn't always mean money. Yes, you may owe your brother forgiveness. That's right. Or you may owe your brother an apology. Mm-hmm. You you always owe your brother to love. Yes. So you may owe your brother to do something to him. You may have all against. You may have all against your brother, and you got to go to your brother and let him know. Yes. So the fourth thing, and then uh, number five is protection. And give us the debts as we as we forgive our debtors. As okay. notice the word as we forgive. Sure, similarly. Which means if uh-huh. you don't. Forgive. Yes. Why would you expect God to forgive you? Mm, 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 mm. And I hate to say this, but there are some people who are sick because of the lack of forgiveness. A lack of forgiveness. They and they refuse to forgive. Yes. And so, uh, if you really research it, you'll find out that uh, unforgiveness brings uh, physical health yes. problems. I believe that. Mm-hmm. Uh, then thirteen it says, "And lead us not into temptation, mm-hmm. but, but deliver, deliver us, us from evil." That's protection. So mm-hmm. number one is adoration. Number two is submission. Number three is supplication. Number four is repentance. 
And then number five, as you're asking for the protection of God, mm -hmm. we know that God has have us living on this earth. Mm -hmm. Guns is not what protects us. Right. It's the will Amen. of God. It's the spirit of God. And the Bible said that it is the power of God that keeps us. Sure. So we're asking God to keep and protect us. That is the five key points of the disciples' prayer that Jesus laid out for us. Oh, we. oh my goodness. Hey, um, Brittany, there's an X there. Lionel Harris, uh, I want you to play, uh, just give me, I'll tell you when, but let it play, and um, I will talk over it after about a minute that it plays, but keep it playing though. You can start it now. This song here is called Lord Listen to Your Children Praying, and from his project of 1975. We'll, we'll make sure these speakers are on so Facebook Live could hear it, and I'll have Sister Keisha pray in just a minute here. Send us praise. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place for me now. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us praise. When the people of the Lord get down the prayer Doors are gonna swing open and the walls come a tumbling down When the people of the Lord get down the prayer When the people of the Lord When the people of the Lord When they begin to pray Things do happen Because the Lord hears Like any father who are among his children when the children are in need when they are hungry they need to be fed no good father would reject the child and when the child asks for a specific thing the father gives him a specific thing if he wants bread the father won't give him a stone to eat he gives him bread sister Keisha Smith is in the room I want you to just give me just a minute prayer on uh, those who don't know how to pray okay pray for those who are trying to figure out how to communicate with God and uh, we'll continue with that whenever you're ready amen heavenly father God in the mighty name of Jesus God we bless you today, O oh God, and we give you praise, honor, and glory today, O oh God. God, we come in agreement right now, Lord God, and uh, these thy people, we come and we merge our faith and we trust and we believe, Lord God, that you would hear and answer our sincere prayers on today, O oh God. God, we pray for those who do not have the knowledge, Father God, and how to reach you and, and, and when to pray and how to pray today, Lord God. So God, we pray even now that you will give your people, Father God, the knowledge, Lord God, and open up their minds on today, Lord God, to be able to receive, Father God, from you. Uh, open up their ear gates today, oh God, that they may be able to hear and discern from you through the Holy Spirit today, oh God. Father God, that you will lead them into prayer, Father God, and lead them as to how to pray. And God, lead them as to when they need to pray and what they need to pray for today, oh God. God, we come and we just bless you right now, Father God, for we know that you said, God, that you would hear and answer a sincere prayer, oh God. And you said that the effect Sexual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. And God, we stand in the gap today, O oh God, for those who do not know how to call upon your name, O oh God, for those who do not know how to start or where to begin, O oh God. God, we come against even the plot of the enemy, Father God. We come against ignorance today, O oh God. And God, we pray even now, O oh God, for God, we know that you are ever so present with us today, O oh God. And you're with us every time, Father God. We wake up, O oh God, in every step of the day and every step of the way, O oh God. So God, we just thank you even now, Father God, for we know that 
the Holy Spirit is interceding even right now, Father God, for those, Father God, who don't have the knowledge today, oh God, we come in agreement with you that are listening. We come in agreement right now, Father God, that you, God, you, God, shall rise up in your people right now, Lord God. Father God, give them the tool of prayer, Father God, to be able to war and to present present their petitions before you today, Lord God. We thank you, oh God. We praise you, oh God, and we know that you already know what we have need of before we ask. And in Jesus name we pray and we say amen. Amen and amen. Praise God for that prayer. And that was a prayer for those of you who just don't know how to go to the Lord. And that's our first step on uh, as we enter into this time of uh, receiving your healing. Ella Jones, Sharinda Robinson wants those five points real quick. Uh, repeat ta- uh, the, uh, what she says, the uh, five key points from the yes. disciples' prayer. Point number okay. one is mm-hmm. adoration, adoration, honoring God. Mm-hmm. Point number two submission that's yes. when you submit your will to God that mm-hmm. will be done mm-hmm. point number three supplication that's when you make your request to God mm-hmm. asking him for his daily provision point number four repentance father forgive us forgive us for whatever we have done mm-hmm. and then point number five protection lead us not into temptation but deliver us adoration submission supplication repentance and then protection protection those are the five points amen those are the five points and what you can do is again you can always rewind this uh, video as facebook always put it up on facebook so you'll it'll be there for until they've decided to take it down i'm going to make a special video for this and you can always rewind uh that tape as well uh, I see some of the testimonies here. Natalie uh, Bullock also says, she says, also pray for doctors and nurses who are caring for these loved ones. Amen. Uh, we're going to do that in a minute. Uh, be ready for that, Sister Keisha. Amen. Um, there is a file that says 4 o'clock. Uh, uh, Brittany is supposed to say 430. It is um, Bishop uh, Charles Harrison Mason. He is praying for the saints. Uh, this is back in the 1950s. Um, somebody did tell me what year it was, but uh, but we do we do know it was around. 45. Actually. 1945? Okay. Yeah, at St. Paul. St. Paul. Yes, because he mentions uh, Bishop... Uh, Pastor Ford. Ford. Pastor Ford. He was pastor at the time. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is a prayer from 1945, uh, just a couple of minutes long, from uh, Bishop C.H. Mason, and we'll come back after he prays. Lord, in Jesus Christ tonight, rebuke the day of evil and cast the devils out of the minds of all. We're here in the name of Jesus, and we're glad to be here. Yes. We are thankful to God for his favor shown to us, and we are glad for his grace that's abounding. Now while you behold and look and wait, and you yonder in your beds, your hospital, victims tonight, God has laid it upon Jesus Christ to give himself his own life, change conditions in your bodies and minds and spirits. We thank God for the fellowship of the Spirit tonight that gives us in Him to think on others and to pray the mighty God to help and give unto you all that you may be delivered from that tormentor. God bless you. Jesus gave to the ministers and said, Go ye, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believest and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believe not shall be damned. And these signs, he says, shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Not in devils, cast the devils out. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall pick up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it shall not hurt them. God rebuke death here tonight and rebuke death there in you. And cast the devils out of your mind. Yeah. Let your little ones look to God. Yeah. This is a time that we need Jesus. Yeah. We need the word of his wonder. Yeah. We need the wisdom of the blood. We need the coming of the coming. Yeah. Jesus the Savior. <clears throat> Satan the Lord rebuke here. Yeah. Death the Lord rebuke here. Yeah. An enemy the Lord rebuke here. Yeah. A liar the Lord rebuke here. Yeah. A shame the Lord rebuke here. Yeah. The blood the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ, God's anointing, giving it unto all, 
We thank God for his presence in the room and for his wonders. He giveth the latter rain of his will tonight. Woman, Jesus heal you. Jesus rebuke death. God give you tonight. Woman, Jesus heal you. Your sins the Lord forgive. He casted out the day of evil. God rebuke death. The word of his presence tonight heal the sick. The word of his wisdom cast down the enemy of our souls. We are blessed to come and glad we are here. Yes, Lord. 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 Now you sick poor people that are here in the room, lift your hands up. Let your will go up. Some of you are amen. Lift your hand. You there in the hospital, you yonder in your home today, that are sick and afflicted, lift up your hands. Glorify God and say, Lord, help me. Deliver my soul. Crush the devil out of my mind. And rebuke death. I beseech thee as my Savior. Cast the devil out of my mind. Loose me here tonight. Loose me. Loose others. Loose death. God rebuke death. The devil's recovered. of the Lord, the gift of God tonight, renew the spirits of his little ones here, and give deliverance to all waiting, waiting tonight. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your greatness and great love shown. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The great Bishop C.H. Mason, uh, Dawn on the Day of the Lord, 1961. Uh, I'm going to continue here. Um, you can let that play continue to play, Britt. Um, I want you guys to go to Matthew 13 and 54 because now Elder Jones and uh, Sister Smith, Pastor Smith, it is, we're going to talk about uh, the lack of faith and unbelief from those who feel that God cannot do what he used to do. Matthew 13. Uh, chapter 13 and verse 54. 1554. Help us understand this, Elder Jones. Um, and when he was coming to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue. In so much that they were astonished and said, Whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works is not this the carpenter's son is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James and Joseph and uh, Simon and Judas and his sisters are they not all with us whence then has his man, this man all these things okay I'm stop here okay they posing questions about it's like they're demeaning him yes, yes. By giving him an association with ain't this that carpenter's boy? Exactly. They couldn't yeah. believe that the, uh, the great authority that Jesus had. One thing you have to learn about Jesus, he was always led by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And Jesus was always praying. He prayed in private. Right. The Bible talked about praying in your closet. So mm -hmm. Jesus was always praying privately. He would go to the Mount of Olives or he would go somewhere to pray. But then he prayed so much until he had great power. Bishop Mason, who we just heard, would pray. They told me he would pray for sometimes five, six, and seven, and eight hours in a day. Right. Uh, William Seymour, they said, would pray for four, five, six hours in a day when the Lord broke forth with the Great Azusa Revival. So when they see Jesus on the scene, they get upset and jealous with him. They want to know where did this man come from and where did all this power come from, and they wanted to really... Uh, make him look bad. I, isn't this just the carpenter's son? And isn't Mary his mother's? And isn't his sisters and brothers with us? Mm -hmm. And so this is what what was going on uh, in the life of Jesus Christ by the people. Then he said, "A prophet is without honor, 
mm-hmm. save in his own country and in his own house. There's no honor among his own people at home and in his own country. So then Jesus had to really leave because the people did not have faith in him. And I'm going to read that. And they were uh, uh, offended in him. Mm-hmm. But Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. And he did not many mighty works here or there uh, because of their unbelief. Unbelief. And that's the key thing right now is unbelief in the, in, in the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. If we just simply believe. Remember the, the man cried out, Lord, I believe, but help my mm-hmm. unbelief. My unbelief. And I can guarantee you, uh, Sir Walter, that most of us, even us in this studio and those that are listening, have a great portion of unbelief. I believe that. And the proof is in the pudding. It is in the pudding. Yes. Um, uh, Mark, he picks it up in chapter 6. Mm-hmm. And he says, uh, but Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. Mm-hmm. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid hands a few upon s- a few sick, few sick folk, folk mm-hmm. uh-huh. and healed them. healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. unbelief. And he went round about the villages teaching. Teaching. Okay. Mm-hmm. So God has all the power to heal a man. All the power. To heal an entire nation. To heal an entire nation. Apparently, uh, something stopped him from be, being having the ability mm-hmm. to heal everybody that he wanted to heal. The lack of faith. The lack of How powerful is that? The lack of faith. F- faith. If you go to the average person home, you, you know what you will see? What's that? A mountain. Yeah, you're right. Mm. He said, if you have faith, the grain of a mustard seed. Yeah. Now, it's funny that he picked a mustard seed. Mm-hmm. Mustard seed is the smallest of its kind. Yes. It's the smallest. You can barely see a mustard seed. Right. Yet the mustard seed grows to be the greatest of its kind. Yes. And then number three, a mustard seed grows to be the swiftest. True. So Jesus is saying all you need is, a, is small faith. Just sm- He said faith as a grain, not just the size of a mustard seed. In other words, you take a mustard seed and you squash it and smash it. To its smallest particle. Mm-hmm. And he said, if you had that much faith. Just that much. You can move a mountain. Yeah, man. We, we, uh, uh, we pass out when we are confronted with a mountain. Mm-hmm. But, you know, what's her name? Sing that song, Lord, don't move my mountain. Yeah. But give me give the me strength, strength to climb. Right. Well, old folk ain't have the strength, so they just told the mountain to move. Just get yeah. it out the way. Young folk <laughs> want to climb the mountain. <laughs> old folk, they rather just have the mountain move. Yes. Either or, you got to get to the other side of the mountain. Either you crawl over it, climb over it, dig a hole and go under it, or you just tell the mountain to move. So the number one problem we have is the lack of faith. The lack of faith. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to go to James uh, chapter 5 mm-hmm. uh, because we enter this next section called uh, we, uh, about the uh, healing portion and the forgiveness of sins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, because um, many of us are sick uh, for self-inflicting in, in sins, uh, sickness that is, uh, because uh, sometime in the show we want to pray over the food of uh, America's agriculture um, because we're killing ourselves and not knowing it. Yes. So we, we, I want to pray for the ignorance of us because we have a lot of information out there. We just don't want to read it. James 5 and 14. Um, maybe we can see if we can do with this here. That's the start of 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. How, how important is that to sing? Singing is Psalms. very important because it changes the whole atmosphere. Yeah, it does. The angels sing in heaven. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I, I want to say 24 hours, but there is no time in heaven. No, it really isn't. But God got worshipers, the seraphims and the cherubims. Mm-hmm. One of them are worshiping angels. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Singing will change the heart of God. Yeah, yeah, the anointed cherubs. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so it's very, so he says in Ephesians and in Colossians, mm-hmm. singing with psalms in your heart and making melodies in your heart and all of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said, encourage one another with Anything. these things. Yes, sir. Each other. Um, then he says, is is any sick among you? Let mm-hmm. him call for the elders of the church. Are you talking about old people or is he talking about licensed ministers? He's talking about the old people of okay. the church. All right. Mm-hmm. And let them pray over him, mm-hmm. anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, I have right here some oil here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, is, um, this is just, you know, this really could be any oil. 
um, you know, we use in our churches. You see that bottle sitting up there that says "Extra Virgin Olive yeah, Oil." Yeah, extra, uh, extra Virgin. Right. Okay. Now, L. Jones, mm-hmm. is the healing in this oil, no. or is the healing in the obedience? The healing is in the obedience of using the oil. The oil. Mm-hmm. Who in scriptures used the oil uh, to lay hands on people with the oil, and, and what effect did it have? The oil had. Ah, uh, here. And mm-hmm. it says, uh, let them pray over him, anointing him with, with oil. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, in the Old Testament, uh, whenever they would anoint a king, they yes. would use oil. Sure. As a matter of fact, the oil refused to come out on one of them, brothers. Sure. The man's entire family, the oil, the Bible said, refused to flow mm-hmm. until they found David. Mm-hmm. So anytime you do anything according to the will of God, that's obedience. Yeah. And a lot of times, obedience brings healing. Right. One man was told to go dip. Yes. And he didn't want to do it at first, but then when he finally went and dipped, he was healed. Yes. He was healed because of his obedience. Whenever you do it the way God says do it, you will be healed. Yes. So that's very vital then. Mm-hmm. Our healing comes through our obedience. Obedience. So many of us stay sick, and then we some of us die mm-hmm. because we were not obedient. Uh, matter of fact, back, back during Paul's time when he was even talking about communion, he says because they were taking it not unworthy, but unworthily. Unworthily. Which That's is a difference between difference. the two. Yes, sir. So they were taking it unworthily, and because of this, mm-hmm. some of them were sick. Sick. And then, they, and that's why today many of you are afraid to take communion because yeah, yeah because, because of that they one read word. that one and they scare you they with get, that yes okay yes. but many of you have never got sick or died but you've been taking communion for it. right all right so please uh, contextualize scriptures yes sir okay and uh, then and mm-hmm. then read where it says and let a man examine himself. and let a man examine himself then let him take yes is what he says yes sir that's exactly it mm-hmm. uh, and um. He says, uh, pray over them, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith Mm -hmm. shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. Mm -hmm. And, this is vital, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Mm -hmm. Confess your faults one to another. Yes. And pray. Now, people are saying, asking, is this the order? Uh, because sometimes when the when the when the writer or Paul whoever it is uh, he's writing, mm-hmm. he doesn't necessarily go in an order. Right, it's not he, one, two, or three. Yeah, exactly. He'll generalize something, then he'll go back mm-hmm. and then place an order mm-hmm. or explain what he just said. Mm-hmm. So here it says, and if if sin if uh, uh, if well, we have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray for or pray one for another that mm-hmm. ye may be healed. Mm-hmm. The effectual. You sure it didn't say talk about one another? Nope. Yep. Nope. Pray. Really. Mm-hmm. So yeah. if I have a if I have a uh, weakness, yeah, I confess my weakness to you, mm-hmm. and then you pray with me for strength. Yes. But then you keep that betwixt the two of us. Right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, it's kind of important, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That would explain why many don't confess. They don't confess because they're afraid. They're afraid that, that they're going to hear tell. over the pulpit. I got a few inbox messages from people who mm-hmm. says, I, I'm not going to put my prayer, my request on the wall. And I understand. Uh, and and uh, I, I ain't sharing it. <laughs> right. I ain't telling y'all. Right. Now, I'm going to make a prayer for these people. Right. All right. But I'm not going to tell you who they are. Mm-hmm. Because uh, there's many times we've gone in, in, into the pastor's office mm-hmm. and told him some things. And we and heard it the we, following week. We heard it in the sermon. From mm-hmm. his wife. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a, it's a, Part it's a of shame. Pillow talk. Can pillow I, talk. Can, can I yes. say something? Please, pillow, sir. Pillow. <laughs> pillow talk. That's what it is. Let's go back to James. Mm-hmm. He says something very interesting in the 13th verse and the 14th verse. Notice the two words he used. What's that? The one word was afflicted. Mm-hmm. The other word is sick. Yes. Uh, and if you use or read another translation, it says, are any of you suffering hardships? Mm-hmm. So that's the word afflicted, is when you're suffering some type of hardship in life. Yes. But he says, if you are afflicted or if you are suffering some type of hardship, you pray. Right. Okay? Now, if you marry, happy, then you sing songs. Mm-hmm. But if you have a physical ailment of the body, yes. then he says to call for the elders of the church. Too often, we don't pray. Right. Mm-hmm. 
we immediately call for a pastor. We do, pastor. Yeah. And sometimes pastor ain't the one to get the word to. Right. And That's and a lot of times God don't want to hear pastor because he we, with we worship <laughs> pastor. Sure. Right. And he's not going to hear an individual that you worship. Right. So if you are afflicted, if you're suffering hardships, the the cares of life, as we may call it, he says, then you pray mm -hmm. and you can get a prayer through. But if you are afflicted, I mean, if you are sick, then he says to call for the elders of the church and the elders of the church are them old mothers, them old deacons, them, right. them old fathers of the church who really knows how to mourn yes. and who knows how to really get the attention and the ear of God. Now, Elder Jones, do they have to be in a church building, though, these elders and no. these men, these people? Because mm -mm. there's some people who feel that they can't get healed until they wait all week and suffer until they get to church Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. That's when they stand in that line. Not Sunday for morning. Healing. Uh, yeah. Sunday morning after the preacher. After the preacher. Yeah. So they, they suffer through your they seven points. Through your whole, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Your seven points and your 32 minutes of yeah. whatever. Right. And, and then they're not able to touch 13 people. No. They, they can't move because they're in too much pain. Too much pain. They can't high five four people. Yeah. They're in too much pain to do that. Yeah. Then they, they broke. They can't sow a seed. Right. So then if you don't make an altar call, they go home still the same the way. The same, same way. Same, yeah. yeah. So, they, it, no, you don't have to be in church. No. You can call them on the phone, and they can say it on the phone, and you can be healed. Did Jesus have to be present when he healed everybody? Did he lay hands no. on everybody? No. He spoke some things. He sure did. Didn't One he? man's daughter was at the house, dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus said, because of your faith, mm -hmm. she's alive. Yeah. And that tells us that we can do that today. We can stand in an altar or whatever for a sick one, loved yeah, one. Okay. Or we can pray for them. Sure. I'll say this many times the Lord gives us, or even me while I'm praying, somebody's face will come before me while I'm praying. Right. That means intercede for them. For them. Amen. Oh, That's my goodness. exactly what it means. So confess your faults uh, one to another and pray for one another uh, yeah. that ye may be healed. The, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man mm -hmm. avail its much. So yes. all you people who are not righteous... Y'all trying yeah. to pray. Yeah. And and then all the ones who think it don't take all that. Yes. That's what effectual is. That's effectual. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, effectual fervent. That is an individual who's crying out to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. He said the effectual fervent. Now, both of them, mm -hmm. like you say, you got sure. to be righteous. Right. And then he'll hear you because of your effectual fervent prayer, which is what took place with Jesus in the God of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. He prayed so until his pores opened up, until water or blood and sweat was coming out. The Bible speaks about it coming out as dr great drops of blood. And that is true. That yes. is what actually happened. But he travailed with God. And, and it wasn't just tra travailing for himself, but he right. travailed for us. He was. Uh, there's a medical term for that. I think it's called hypertidrosis. Yes. Where he blood, he, uh, he was in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. He was like, take this from me. Mm -hmm. And he began to bleed. Mm -hmm. So that is a medical condition. Mm -hmm. uh, even although tempo temporary, it's med there's, there's a term for it. Mm -hmm. um, um, Sister Keisha Smith. Uh, mm -hmm. Mark 6 and um, 11 says, And whosoever shall not receive you, now Jesus sent the 12 out. Okay? Uh, when you depart hence, shake off the dust from your feet for your testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for the city. Uh, then in 12 says, And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil. Hear the oil again. Many that were sick and healed them. Uh, there, so there, there is a power that uh, many of us do have uh, to use the oil that God has empowered us to do through our obedience. Mm -hmm. I want you to, before we go to this next break, I want we need to start praying for the doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw the uh, request here. For the doctors and the nurses and the staff, give them wisdom on what to pray for. Um, use my underbed, uh, Brittany, during this prayer here. Uh, pray for the doctors, uh, the hospital staff, on what to do. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Heavenly Father, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God, we pray today, oh God, and we thank you. Father God, we even repent right now, oh God, from uh, all of our ways or thoughts or actions. 
Father God, that we know have not been pleasing unto you, Lord God. God, as we come again and we merge our faith, oh God, and as we stand in agreement right now, Father God, and we honor your word, oh God, and we know that your word cannot return back unto you void. For Father God, again, you said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous that it availeth much. And so God, we stand on your word today, oh God, and as we pray and we cover, Father God, uh, the doctors and the nurses, Father God, and we cover um, the whole medical industry, Father God, those who have heard your voice, Father God, and, and are led to um, uh, get, grab higher learning and higher education, Father God, that they may go, Father God, and uh, nurse your people, Father God, and, 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 and heal, Father God, through the knowledge, Father God, that you have given them. Father God, I pray even now in the name of Jesus, Father, Father for we know that uh, the healing, Father God, has to take place through you, Lord God. So, Father, we pray even now that as you instruct your doctors, Lord God, and as you lead them, Father God, we pray that you will cover them, the nurses, Father God, all the way down to the receptionist, Father God, those who uh, make the diagnosis and the prognosis today, Lord God. For, Lord God, give your people even wisdom, Lord God. Some feel that they only need prayer, um, Father God, but we know that faith without works is dead, Father. And, Lord God, we pray that you will guide your people into all truth and give them the knowledge father god uh lord in the name of jesus god we even pray right now lord um for those lord god who are struggling uh those who may be uh, uh debating about whether the doctor can heal them for father god we know that it is you and god we pray that you will give your people wisdom father god and utilize the wisdom that you have given them right now heavenly father and god coupled with that with those who are in position father god who lives father god that they are holding by every cut by every decision decision right now, Lord God. Father, we pray because we know that you are yet the doctor in the sick room, God. We know that you are the master physician right now, Father God. So God, we pray for the heart of those who are in the medical field right now, Lord God, that you would guide them right now, Heavenly Father. Lord God, realizing that they have your lives, your lives, your people, Lord God, that are entrusting in their decisions. But ultimately, Father God, let the people know, Lord God, that it is you, Father God, that we need to have our trust and our faith and our hope in, Lord God. God, again, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, every hospital, every medical uh, center and clinic, Lord God, that is open up, Father God, Father God, that your will, Father God, your will will be done, Father God, that you will guide the doctors, Lord God, guide the nurses right now, Father God, Father God, we just pray even now, Lord God, that your will, your will, your will, Heavenly Father, let it be done right now, Lord God, God, we pray this prayer in faith and in hope, Lord God, and as we send the vibration through prayer throughout the land right now, Lord God, not just in our state, Father God, but for all of those who are listening, some doctors that may be listening, some nurses, Lord God, even those with ailments right now, Lord God, Father God, as we lift you up and as we exalt you right now, Lord God, we know that prayer, Father God, is our communion with you, Lord, and we praise you and we thank you and we consider it done in Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. amen. We're coming back uh, in just a minute. We want to hear from Carmen. He has a song here called Jesus Heal Me. Please listen to this song in its entirety. It will bless you. So Walter Jones Show. The Spirit of the Lord is here to heal. The presence of the Holy One Is faith enough for a miracle today? So believe this and receive this as you say, as you say, Jesus.
everything it's set out to do. It never returns void, and it is life to all our flesh. So in confidence, I speak the words of faith and resist all sickness and disease, and take hold of the promises that are in your word to heal me. Lord Jesus, I believe that you are touching me right now. For the scripture says that you not only forgive all my sins, but you heal all my diseases. For I believe that as the Bible says, we will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So now I give you praise for providing everything I need to recover and walk in complete wholeness. I thank you for satisfying me with long life, for I shall live and not die. not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. The Word of God is powerful, often misunderstood, but with proper study, you can gain accurate application of this potent source of life here on the Sir Walter Jones Show. How are you all saying? Welcome back, everybody. In November 2011, Carmen, the man that you just heard sing that wonderful song about Jesus Heal Me. I think it's my favorite Carmen song of all time, hmm, old and new. Carmen was involved in an auto accident. He was in a he was a passenger, uh, and uh, when the driver made a left into the church parking lot in front of a crowd of fans waiting to get into the concert, a truck from oncoming traffic struck Carmen's side at 50 miles per hour. Carmen was able was was able to walk into the church attempting to continue with the scheduled concert but collapsed soon after that and he was taken to the hospital just outside of Houston where he was examined and x-rayed. No broken bones or spinal injuries were found. However, internal injuries were found that required surgery. In a post, uh, photo post uh, made on both his official and personal Facebook accounts February 14, 2013 uh, Carmen revealed that he had been diagnosed with uh, uh, what's it called myeloma, and uh, giving a prognosis of only three to four more years to live. In late March 2013, Carmen announced a Kickstart campaign for a new album and music video. A short time later, he announced an upcoming 60-city tour as well. Additionally, nothing uh, that the online fundraiser campaign had raised more than. Uh, $230,000 within several weeks <laughs> as of December 2013 Carmen had been in the hospital receiving chemotherapy treatments by early 2014 however Carmen announced that uh, medical tests had indicated that uh, his uh, body was free of cancer 
Mm-hmm. And he planned to continue preparing for his Live Across America album tour. So I had to play that song. It's just a wonderful testament of how Jesus can heal you. Uh, indeed, no matter what. They gave him just a few days, all right? They crossed him off. It says, you, you got to go. Your time is up. And uh, here he is. Uh, he was able to, because God allowed him to live, I was able to be blessed by that song. I play it all the time at home. Uh, those of you who just joined us on the second feed, this is part two. Uh, the first feed, I had a lot of people here, and I want to read some of their um, their posts. Uh, let's see. Uh, Charlie uh, Harrison says, Elder Jones, Elder Ryan Jones, you're endowed with the word. Amen. He sure is. Um, Demetrius says, blessings to you. Jonathan Williams said, had three surgeries in March 2015 and still dealing with issues from it. Would love prayer. Absolutely. Let's remember Jonathan Williams, my longtime dear friend. Uh, matter of fact, I'm at Faith Temple Church of God in Christ now because of Jonathan Williams. Dear, dear, dear friend. The Lord will heal you, Jonathan. Um, let's see. Um, I didn't get a chance to read many. I see I see your comments here. Can't read them all. Uh, Marilyn Keeter says, uh, yes, many times Jesus could not be at a particular place at a particular time. He sent his word and healed them. Amen. And uh, the comments continue. Uh, but let's get back here on some of the notes here. So just to catch you up, those of you who are just joining part two, of our video feed, uh, we talked about the Lord's Prayer, March 6, I'm sorry, Matthew 6, uh, on how to go before the Lord in prayer. And then we talked about uh, those who have a lack of faith and your unbelief uh, on what to do in that. We asked, we told you about the f- how to uh, ask for forgiveness before you start bombarding heaven and asking God to heal you. You need to ask him for forgiveness of your sins, whether you know of sins or you don't know. Because there's some things we're doing we don't even know that we're doing. James 5 and 14, we dealt with that. Um, a song, Brittany, this is an F. Go to F. This song here is by the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. Uh, it's on the Declare Your Name album. came out in 2009. Uh, and this song is called I Surrender. I just want to hear one minute of that. I surrender. And this is we want to stay on the surrender part, the forgiveness part. Ella Jones, Rodney Jones is going to pray. For those of you who don't know how to ask God for forgiveness of your sins, you, you, you say to yourself, I'm a rascal. God is not going to hear my prayer. Uh, so Ella Jones is going to pray. Just get a minute of this song here. I surrender. And I need to fulfill your purpose in my life, I submit to you, my King. Be my everything. I'm coming to you again, Lord. Here I. Please pray, old gentleman. Father, right now, there are so many people who really don't know how to come to you, how to reach you, how to even approach you for whatever may be taking place in their life. Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit bring conviction in their lives, bring conviction in their spirit and in their hearts, Lord. Let them know, first of all, that they are in error of your word. And second of all, give them the spirit of understanding and the spirit of prayer. 
on how to approach you and how to confess their sins. Father, bless them from their hearts. Bless their endeavors and let your Holy Spirit forever move in their hearts. Father, your great word we love and we praise and we honor you and we glorify you. For there is none like you nowhere. You are the great God Jehovah and we surrender our wills unto your will. Speak to the hearts of your people. Speak to that heart, Lord, that just don't know how to change. That heart just that, that just don't know how to surrender their all. But they think that they have to hold on to things of life. Fathers, because they don't fully trust you. But let them know that they can trust you. For you are their all in all. And you sent your word to heal. We ask that you would bless and strengthen now. And give them the desires of their heart. Father, let your will go out in their hearts and bless them. For it is the goodness of God that leadeth men to repentance according to your word. We ask that you would do this in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise God. Um, I tell you, it is uh, so important that, that we have knowledge on what to do. Is uh, the, the Bible asks the question, is not first natural, then spirit. Uh, there's um, a man out there who lost his wife, not to death, but through separation. Wow. That's uh, almost the same thing. Yes, it is. When I was the, when I got separated uh, from my ex-wife, and when I um, when she when she filed for divorce, um, there was a hurt that I had never felt before. Right. There was a there was a and I said this on the air before. There was a ripping sound that I literally heard in the spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard it. Mm -hmm. It and and took me. I can't tell you how long it took me to heal from that. Right. Right. And. Um, I'm not going to tell you who's, who's in fault and any of that stuff because when you're hurting, you ain't paying attention. You ain't paying attention. So who fault is this, this right. who did this, no. And you don't even care at that you, moment. You don't really care. Right. You're hurting. You're hurting. And, um, and I've told you about you guys about this. I mean, I was stabbed severely. I was left for dead. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all see, the scarf, stabbed in the chest, stabbed in the back. I was left for dead on the streets of Chicago but, and it took me two weeks in intensive care. Mm -hmm. I had never felt that kind of pain before. Your lungs before. collapsed? Both lungs collapsed. Mm -hmm. I had to learn how to breathe again. Mm -hmm. All right? I had to learn how to walk again. It was just amazing. Uh, but when I got married and went through what I went through and got divorced, that was the worst pain oh, yes. that I have ever experienced brokenness. in my life. Brokenness. Inner brokenness. Brokenness. And so I want to pray for those of you who have lost a loved one due to separation mm -hmm. and divorce. Mm. Um, it is uh, something that you didn't plan for. Right. The recovery process the re is, yes. is, is heart wrecking. Absolutely. I, I speak to the hearts of those of you out there who are listening to me. They're gone now, and you feel that they'll never come back. And, and some of your situations, they will return. Mm -hmm. And other situations out there, they won't return. And sometimes God allows some things to happen before the good of man. Yes. Uh, there's some relationships that need not be. Mm -hmm. All right. And so uh, don't torture yourself. Right. Some feel that they are the fault. Yes. They're the blame. Don't continue to torture yourself like I did for years. I yes. tortured myself. Mm -hmm. You have to learn also to forgive yourself as well. Mm -hmm. And so I pray uh, that uh, those of you out there who are hurting right now, I can't mean you're hurt, but God says he'll never leave you. Mm -hmm. He will never leave you, even though your loved one did. Mm -hmm. He can't do it. Because he can't turn on his word. He can't do it. He can't do it. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany H., there's a song here that I heard by Matt Maurer called Lord, I Need You, which is a song when I was hurting. This is the song that took me through. Mm -hmm. And this is why I keep telling you people, again, the encouragement of the psalms and the hymns and the spiritual psalms can help us as we meditate on our issues. Listen to this just for a minute here. I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one. Just mm -hmm. 
more Grace is found Is where you are Where you are The night is free Holy day Is Christ in me Lord, I need you, Matt Marron. It was 2 a.m. in the morning when I was awakened to my door. Someone came to the door and just delivered a message that I was looking. I was, I was expecting God to do something for me all day long. I woke up to this song about 8 o'clock. I don't wake up that early because I go to bed almost at that time. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I woke up at 8 o'clock for the first time in a long time. And someone posted this on Facebook And I listened to it all day long And I kept hearing my one defense My righteousness All day long I didn't want to hear not another song And that's one thing I want to say to y'all Don't be distracted When you're going before the Lord You have to move things out of your way uh, Usually today when Every day when I prepare my shows I usually have a TV on watching the news MSNBC and uh, CNN and I, Because I need to inform people Because that's my line of work but when I was preparing for this show, I had to shut the TV. I didn't even put the mute button on. I had to shut it all the way off. Because sometimes when you put the mute button on, you'll see vision. Of, uh, you'll see the pictures, and you'll say, "What's that?" And you turn the mute button back off. Okay. So I shut it all the way off so that I can meditate and uh, pay attention. So you have to remove distractions out of the way when you're going before the Lord. Not just fasting for with food, but fasting from the TV and the telephone and the texts and the inbox. Just get rid of it uh, and uh, talk to the Lord. And as I did that that entire day, my answer came at 2 in the morning. Mm. You know, Elder Jones, mm -hmm. uh, we don't know when our answer is going to come. No, we don't. We know it is coming. We know it's coming. Yes. Mine was 2 a.m. That's the time I would usually be in bed. Mm -hmm. uh, but he, that's the time mine's came. That's he, an unexpected hour for me. He knows the the right hour. Yeah. One man said that the Lord called him, and this may sound kind of strange, mm -hmm. but he said the Lord called him while he was sitting on the toilet stool. Yes. And he asked God, God, why? He said, God said, I had to catch you mm -hmm. at your most quietest hour. Your quietest hour. Right now is when I'm calling I'm you. I'm glad you brought that up. As, as, as gross and maybe as funny as that may sound. Yeah. That's it's reality. True. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. That's reality. Because we're too fast for God. We're now. too fast. We say a prayer and we get mm -hmm. up and leave. And we're gone. Uh, I want to pray against some of these diseases. There's a disease called Crohn's. C-R-O-H-N-S, Crohn's disease. I believe Natalie Bullock's daughter is dealing with this thing and is ripping her apart. Mm. Uh, when reading about inflammatory bowel diseases, it is important to know that Crohn's disease is not the same thing as the old serrative colitis they're saying here uh, but recognizing the signs of the symptoms Crohn's disease can affect any part of the GI tract while symptoms vary from patient to patient and some may be more common than others the telltale symptoms of Crohn's disease include persistent diarrhea and rectal bleeding and urgent need to move bowels ab uh, abdominal cramps and pains sensation of incomplete evacuation uh, and constipation uh, general symptoms that may also be associated with uh, IBD is fever, loss of appetite, weight loss, fatigue, night sweats, and loss of normal menstrual cycles. This Crohn's disease is horrible. It is hard. And many, many of the saints are dealing with this thing. Yeah. I want to definitely reach out to Natalie Bullock uh, and uh, for her daughter. Mm. I'll be in Indianapolis tomorrow and the whole weekend, and I plan to go see her, mm. Bianca. And we call her name out in our prayers. Yes. Bianca, yes. That, is sh that she is healed. Mm. I need her healed. Uh, God, I need her healed. Yes, her yes. mom needs her healed. Yes. Her grandmother yes. needs her healed. Yes. We're going to speak against, I want uh, um, Pastor Smith, we're going to pray against uh, that spirit, Crohn's, and also lupus. 
Lupus, I believe uh, um, Pastor Carlos Moody, his daughter, I'm sorry, not his daughter, his wife, Pauletta, is dealing with that lupus. Mm. Uh, lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that can damage any part of the body, wow. skin, joints, and or organs inside the body. Chronic means that the signs and symptoms tend to last longer than six weeks and often many years, they're saying here. It's not contagious, not not even through sexual contact. You cannot catch lupus from someone or give lupus to someone. Lupus is not like a or related to cancer. They're saying cancer is a condition of malignant abnormal tissues that grow rapidly and spread into surrounding tissues. Lupus is an autoimmune disease, mm. as described. However, some treatment of lupus may include uh, immune immunosuppressant drugs that are also used in chemotherapy. And so you can guys, you guys can go there uh, to, uh, uh, of course, Google and find out more about lupus and Crohn's. Okay, I want to specifically bring those, uh, call those two out, uh, and I'll, then I'll go into the rest of these diseases. But uh, those two right now are very personal to me because I know these people; mm. they're dear to my heart. Uh, so, uh, Pastor Smith, right quick, just give me one minute on that one there. Pray for. For, for those. Amen. Dear kind, gracious, heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for the power of prayer, Lord God. We thank you for relationship with you, oh God. God, we thank you for, uh, heavenly Father, we can ask what we will in your name, oh God. Father God, through your son, Christ Jesus, you said that you would do it, Father. God, we call out these uh, two infirmities right now, Lord God, for um, the lives of the loved ones, Father God, that have been stricken, Lord God. And Father God, we declare right now that lupus and that Crohn's disease has no power, Lord God. We know that all sickness is not unto death, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, we call forth healing now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we call forth healing right now, Heavenly Father. God, that you will bless those and touch them, Father God. Father God, for we understand and we know that through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, we have a right to proclaim our liberty from sickness and disease right now, Lord God. So God, we strip the bands of the enemy right now, Father, in the midst of the prayer, Father, and we pray for total healing, Lord God, total deliverance and total healing right now, Lord God, the sickness has no power, Lord God, you rose your son with all power and declaring right now, Lord God, that by your son's Christ stripes, Father God, they are healed in Jesus mighty name. We pray and we believe. Amen. 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 Oh, Jones, what do you have? Uh, in Psalm 34 and 18, Psalm 34 in 18, the 18th verse says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, mm -hmm. and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. So I want to say to this to those that have a broken heart. While your heart is broken, God is right there closer to you. He draws closer to you because your heart is broken. Mm -hmm. Whatever broke your heart. It concerns God. Mm. God is a loving father, and whatever concerns his children concerns him. No God, no father wants to see his child broken and it not affect him. So Psalms 34, 18, the Lord is nigh. He is close unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. And verse 19 is the one we all know. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Uh -huh. But the mm. Lord delivereth him out of them all. And then I want to read verse number 22. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Mm. Trust God. Trust God. Amen. Great scripture. Great reminder of who God is in our lives. I want to call out these names, these people who gave us their names here. Uh, I have not forgotten you. Marcus William Hart, Reverend Marcus Hart. He is, he's asking for prayer, mental health, healing, mm -hmm. mental healing and spiritual healing. Uh, Michelle Thomas have a list here. She pray for herself, of course, her and her husband, Milton. Uh, Amber Thomas, Bianca, Noel, uh, uh, Ariel, and some of these names I may not pronounce right, but you, you guys understand. Ariel Thomas... Uh, let's see, uh, Trinice Thomas, Taya, or Taya Thomas, Kimora, 
uh, Sine, or Sina, Morgan, okay, help me out, Lila, Thomas, uh, Haley, Robles, uh, let's see, Cadence, Bell, K or K-I, Bell, Chris Bell, uh, she, uh, Michelle has placed your names out there, and we might pray for you. I think I said Kamara, all right. Um, let's see, also her, her mom and dad, Gwen Brown, and uh, Leon Brown. Brandy McCord have a request for herself. Uh, she had surgery this week. Uh, let's see, Milton has added Willie Thomas, uh, Leon Brown, Gwen, of course, he, he mentioned their names again, and Lucille Hicks. Tina uh, Taylor is asking for prayer for Calvin Taylor and uh, her entire family. Uh, of course, Nally has placed Bianca on the list here for Crohn's and blood clot that needs to dissolve without issues. And Tiffany Webster, she says her niece who has pneumonia. Effie Roth, uh, a wonderful mm -hmm. radio disc jockey, says pray for her. Uh, Demetra Brand Triplett has uh, herself and Pastor Riley and Lady Ruby Forrest, Ministers Wilson and Victoria Robinson, Kenyatta Humphrey, uh, the Bridges and Brand families, uh, Paulette Clemens, Vicki Bridges Riley, Ministers Arthur and Dorothy Johnson, and Sean Hanna. This, these are the names that Demetra has given us. Um, let's see here. And Sean Hanna has responded. Praise God. Clara Bell says, pray for, uh, please pray for my sister, Clara Bell, uh, a healing in my eyes and body for type 2 diabetes. Uh, Ari Evans uh, has placed names here. Lonzale Evans, Helen Evans, uh, and my mother and my sisters and brothers. The Leith family, my, my pastor and church family. Surrender has placed a uh, minister lot who was awaiting heart transplant. Um, amen for that. We are definitely praying for that. I understand about uh, uh, these uh, organs that we have. I have one less organ because I donated mine to a man who was dying. So those of you who have a license, please sign the back of that license because when you're dead, you can't do nothing with your organs. Please. Uh, I've been battling, battling, she's been battling um, migraines, surrender. So we're going to pray for God, pray that God heal her of these migraines. Ella Jones, you know about migraines, headaches. Yes, sir. You've had them most of your life. Most of my life. Yeah. Uh, we used to joke around about you faking it, but then as I got older, I realized, hey. It wasn't fake. That wasn't fake. Yes. Uh, Terry Bailey says, so Walter Jones, I will be in prayer with you at the radio, uh, at the radio family for a move, God. For the airwaves, Marco Smith, Antonia Taylor, Aman Amanda Stinson, and Garfield Taylor are the names I would like for you to call out. And amen. I just did that for you, Terry Bailey. Wonderful, wonderful. Gosh, we had her. Uh, I think she called in at one time. Um, Antoine Eisen, pray for, pray for me. Continue travel grace. Uh, he's a truck driver, those, for those of you who don't know. Um, Bronia Scott, we're praying for you as well. Angela Garrett, the Ingrams and Sanders family, healing, salvation, and protection. Nicola Zalikoffer, she wants prayer for John, uh, and kidney and heart disease, and herself for arthritis and body pain and allergies. Amen. I'm going to pray for her father. Uh, uh, Daryl Anderson, uh, let's see, Melissa Green. Uh, let's see, Angie Mims is seeking for prayer. Um, Delores Giles, our dear cousin, she's standing in the gap for us. Demetria is giving us Kimberly Washington and Wes Katina and Virgie and Ann, let's see, uh, Elise uh, Jenkins, Johnson and Deidre Jameson. Amen. Andrea Patton is on here. Mm -hmm. Cousin. In agreement. Thank you, cousin. Pray for dad, your uncle James. Mm -hmm. The devil is attacking his eyes. We ask that the Lord to remove mm -hmm. uh, those things that are in his eyes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if it's cataract, I definitely speak against that. Uh, Maddie Geneva needs prayer for the entire family. Manuel Duhi, a lifelong friend of mine. Arnold Welch wants his name and family added to the list. Uh, Phyllis Williams, and I'm hoping that many of you 
are in agreement with us as we pray for these. We're calling them out. I hope you are. You guys are calling them out as well. Queen Williams. Phyllis is asking for Queen Williams. Blood pressure, uh, gastrointestinal problems. Sherman Mosley, uh, and she wants prayer for Phyllis. Kneecaps, and fatty liver, and high blood pressure. Uh, and on Terry, Lamont, Bianca, Morgan, Timothy, Tony, uh, Jamil. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, Adrian McDaniels. He told us to pray that people have better eating habits. And uh, that's what we uh, started, and we're going to continue. We, we only have just a few more minutes on the show. Jacqueline Coleman, definitely pray for her. Youngest cousin, Evan and Jarrell. Uh, what is it? Son, sorry. Son, youngest son. Testing him for cancer, just returning to school part-time after missing two months. Uh, let's see. Andrew Rose, uh, recovering from a stroke in 2013. Back surgery and surgery on the right eye. Lung expansion on the left side. Uh, Sheila Dudley. And let's see. Uh, lost. Uh, I have to get back to this. You know these. Sheila Dudley. Uh, Garcia Johnson. Standing in agreement. Uh, Ch uh, Chalzetta Brown. And family. Marty. Bogard and is praying for David Young and Charlotte Walker, Mary Mitchell, and herself. Amen. Demetri is adding Terrence Townsend. Angela Garrett's healing for the Alexanders. Recently had major surgery. Nidra Brooks wants prayer. Amen. I'll be seeing her this weekend in Indianapolis. God will do have a totally total healing for her. Gwendolyn Butts uh, pray for her strength because she misses her husband. Her husband died. Uh, as we know, he was my dear friend from Florida. Claire Bell, uh, praying for you. Michelle Thomas added some people here. Son-in-law, she's adding son-in-law and Chris Bell to the prayer list. We found out yesterday that he has prostate cancer. So when you pray, can you do a more specific prayer for that issue? Prostate cancer. Let's remember that, Pastor Keisha. Amen. Also say a special prayer for her daughter, Trenice Thomas, that she be given strength to weather this storm with him. Oh, my Lord. Jack and Coleman is adding Evan, Evan uh, Hutchinson and herself. Uh, Sharonda says, pray for the bereaved family and her friend, uh, N. Brown and T. Davis. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, uh, Lady Rochelle Matheny. Uh, of course, Facebook is gone. I've lost them. Um, please pray for peace and strength for Dobson family. Please pray for the cancer that, that it will not return. Bessie Dotson, Do, Dotson, that is. Evangelist Bessie Dotson, lungs of infection, also diabetes, I believe, God, for healing. Mm. And uh, Paul Rogers, our cousin Paul Rogers, had lost his, his brother, as we know, and he's still grieving over his brother. And, of course, uh, the, the Rogers family, many of them are ill. I'll sign on and Ella Jones, and if you could continue. Huh? Did that? Ah uh, yes, yes. It'll say it won't say that on your end. It'll just it'll it'll make you think that it's your computer, but I'm off, so I have to sign on again. Mm -hmm. um, if you could say something while I sign on. Yes, uh, I'll give it to Sister. Keisha. Uh, as you as you understand understand the Bible says that with His stripes we are healed. Amen. My heart goes out to those who are not only sick but those caretakers those who are caring for those Amen. that are their loved ones or even those who whose job it is to take care of the sick and the shut mm -hmm. in my heart goes out for you and i respect you with utmost respect because you help to bring people back to their strength Amen. and i, I want to uh, pray that or we ask that we will send out a prayer for them as well mm -hmm. so pray for those that are caring for people that are sick uh, sickness is no joke, and I don't want to see it on anybody. And uh, God loves us, and he sent his son Jesus to die for us. And Jesus shed his innocent blood and was willing to be whipped and beat all night long. The Bible talks about his visage was so marred that he was unrecognizable. Right. There was no other man on the face of the earth who was beaten as bad as Christ was. And Christ died for two things. He died for our sins 
and he died for our healing. Amen. Those two things, he shed his innocent blood. Those two things, the Bible said it pleased God to bruise his son. Mm. And his son was bruised just so that we can be forgiven of sin and so that we can be healed. And then the Bible says that he himself took our infirmities. He literally came down here mm-hmm. and took them. He became sin for us, and he removed our sickness. And all we have to do, the Bible says, is by faith receive our healing. Amen. And what we don't know is faith says we are already healed. Amen. Mm-hmm. All we have to do is receive our healing. I yes. wanted to just share with that because I, I just heard even too as well and just in the spirit of the Lord that um, uh, healing is an inheritance. Mm-hmm. It's an inheritance. And um, I, I wanted to, if I'm your iPad to stay up for me, I wanted to share, if you will, uh-huh. if I yes, could, um, because um, even just in listening and I, I have been in prayer and fasting for the last couple of months on many different matters and um and I just believe that as I heard you speak on um, Dr. Jones, amen, that obedience, obedience is a huge part of the healing um, because um, faith and obedience works hand in hand. And if we don't have the faith and the knowledge to know that the healing is inheritance. And that's part of why Christ died as you mentioned then how can we have the authority and God said we need some spiritual authority some spiritual power and that's knowledge to know that um, by his stripes we're healed and it's an inheritance it's not something that we should struggle with but because of we lack the faith and 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 the knowledge to know that uh, healing is an inheritance Hebrew 11 and 6 it says but without faith it's impossible to please him yeah. and we can obtain that healing if we don't have the faith mm. And, and many of us lack that. It said, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mm. You talked a little bit earlier about we get into prayer and we request a thing. And before an answer comes, we're gone. So yeah. we have to diligently seek him mm-hmm. because God has an appointed time. I believe that uh, we are you know, we can walk in that healing or that we are to be healed. Mm -hmm. But again, the obedience, we have no authority, no authority. If we uh, are disobedient, disobedient, you know, we don't have the word of God. We don't have the knowledge of the word to know that we already inherited uh, healing. Amen. We already got it. It's already here. And I think I've held, heard Ella Jones say that a few times, Um, you know, God didn't change his mind. And he didn't, he didn't revoke Amen. Right. <laughs> the license to be healed. Yeah, he didn't revoke that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, definitely it's still here. Um, those of you who are on, this is the finale uh, Facebook Live video. I called your names out on video part two. Uh, if you missed it, I did, I think uh, when I was mentioning Claire Bell, Michelle Thomas, Jacqueline Coleman, Sharinda Robinson, that's when it cut off. Jacqueline Coleman, we pray for you. Uh, Bessie Dodson. Paul Rogers, our cousin, we were mentioning him, so you have to go on Spreaker.com to hear the audio version. Uh, and the lady, Rochelle Matheny, whose family has kept getting hit with cancer. Mm-hmm. Just They just keep getting hit. Mm. She, she beat cancer. Yes. Her father just lost that battle mm-hmm. just a few days ago. And her uh, sister. Mm-hmm. sister lost that battle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and so we don't want this territorial devil to right. hover right. Yes. around the Dodson family anymore. That's right. That's We're right. tired of that. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, this is the 10 leading causes of death. Heart disease. Mm. Pray against that. Mm-hmm. Of course, Amen. cancer. Cr- number three, chronic yes. lower respiratory disease. Mm. Number four, accidents, unintentional mm-hmm. injuries. Mm. All right. Uh, number five, stroke, mm. cerebral vascular diseases. Number six, uh, Alzheimer's, mm. which can kill. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I didn't find that out until later on in life that Alzheimer's is not just some old people's mm-hmm. disease for people who just don't remember stuff. Mm-hmm. It's actually deadly. Yes. Um, seven, diabetes. You know what that's doing to the, especially the black community. Yes. yes. It's wiping us out. Mm-hmm. Um, number eight is influenza and pneumonia. Mm-hmm. People just they're sneezing and thinking it's a common cold. Mm-hmm. And they wind up mm-hmm. going to the hospital mm-hmm. and in a body bag for pneumonia. Mm. Mm. Um, nine, kidney disease, mm. nephritis and nephrotic, nephrotic syndrome and 
nephrosis. That's what they're calling it. And then, of course, number 10 is uh, suicide. Mm -hmm. We got to speak against that, that Amen. suicide. Amen. Yes. And many of us are, are seeing it more and more. We used to, you used to didn't see it in the African-American community. Sometimes I believe lot. that it's because of those nine. Yes. People commit suicide. They, they can't take mm -hmm. it anymore. Mm -hmm. Can't take it anymore. They can't take it. Now, I, I, I will stress that it is important. I went to the doctor yesterday. Yes. I, I will stress, for some reason, we just don't, and I think it was in your bullet points, uh -huh. we just don't go to the doctor. No, we don't. To find out. Prayer is fine. Yeah. But you need to know. You need to know, and, and I'll say this. Never ask the saints to pray that the doctor don't find anything. Good. Amen. Pray. That nothing is covered or hidden. And tell Amen. the people to pray that the doctor find whatever you're sick from. So you know what to pray for. So you know what to pray Amen. for. Because too often we get ready to go to the doctor. You're sick and you say pray that the doctor don't find that. And, and their prayer is the effect of the doctor don't find that. And yet you continue to be sick. Mm. So pray that they find it. Then you'll know what God can heal you from. Right. But I say two things. Number one, we need to start eating and living healthy. Mm -hmm. That food Amen. can wait. Yes. And then Amen. number two, we just need to go ahead and make sure that we get ourselves checked out regularly. Sometimes symptoms, they come. I believe God gave us pain so that we'll know something is wrong. Yes. Amen. And we ignore the pain for years. Oh, my God. And we just, we, uh, we feel like, well, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. And it'll be 10 or 15 years. My uncle says this before he passed. He asked God, God, why, why didn't you heal me? I was sick for 40 something years. Mm. Why didn't you heal me? He said, God told him, you never asked me to. Mm. You never asked me to heal you. So I'm encouraging us, especially preachers, put your Bible down and Amen. go get checked out. Amen. <laughs> Make sure. Missionaries, nurses is fine, but you need to go get medical, physical checkups, check up, check out, and make sure that you're doing your body justice because your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Oh my God! You yeah. know, and yeah. He'll hold us accountable. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the sick people. I'm talking about those of us who just uh, know that we may be confronted with some. Sometimes people don't want to go because they're afraid of the news. They're afraid, mm -hmm. and then they end up dying with without knowing what it is. Yeah. So yeah. those are my two things. I encourage us to make sure we live a healthy life and then make sure that we go get checked out regularly. Get checked out regularly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I did a show on why the rich stay richer, mm -hmm. or stay rich and the poor stay poor, or the things that the rich do that the poor people should be doing what we don't do. Right. And one thing that they said that the rich people are healthier than we are. Mm -hmm. They're healthier. They get up early in the morning. Yes. Okay, they turn the TV off, mm -hmm. uh, and they make a to-do list, mm -hmm. and they make goals, single goals, and they do and it, and attack that one goal. Right. They they do things that don't cost money to do. Right. <laughs> yeah, know? and they got plenty of money, and they have plenty of it. Mm -hmm. But and we, they eat light, and they eat light, and they wash their calories and all that stuff. Yes. And they that's why they live longer than we do. Mm -hmm. So there's no excuse to say I don't have any money. So that's why I'm I'm poor in body. Yes. Uh, no, no. They're, they're, you could do so many free things. You don't really have to hire a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't have to always park your car right in front of the grocery store. Exactly. Park it down the street. Down the street and walk. And walk with, with less items. With less items. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. you don't have to take the escalator right. or the elevator. Walk. Every building have stairs. They have to have them. And when it's time to shout yeah. in church, get yes. up on the dance floor yeah, and get exercise. Up, get up and shout. Don't yeah. look at me shout. You, you know, get that, up and shout. isn't it funny how mm -hmm. we would we will we will exercise outside yes. or we'll buy a machine and mm -hmm. stand in front of it and exercise. Mm -hmm. But when it comes church time to exercise, sure. <laughs> yeah, we won't do it. We, we won't do it. No, we, we'll we go won't. to LA Fitness. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but the church is the LA Fitness. It's yes, for free. Chicago Fitness. What well, used to be for free? Uh, yeah. Um, now this is this is a it's called a hymnal, y'all. It's a great hymnal, by the way. Okay, um, there are a lot of blood songs in here. Oh yes, yes. Songs of healing, these hymns. Mm -hmm. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Have you ever been in your house mm -hmm. and you just started singing a song? Almost just every acapella. Day. Yes, sir. What did that do for you, though? It it lifts my spirit. Yeah. It calls healing to come mm -hmm. upon me. Yeah. Uh, uh, so so many. Uh, 
I had a sickness that overtake me mm -hmm. from time to time. Mm -hmm. And I just went into praise. Yes. And I came out of that particular thing. Yeah. And you know, oh, yeah. uh -huh. you even said it. I grew up with it. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. So when I went into praise, now mm -hmm. it was a struggle. Yeah, I'm sure. But I, my praise mm -hmm. overrode my yep. sickness and my sickness mm -hmm. left. Happens Amen. to me every day. And that's why I wanted to save this part for the ending. I'm hoping y'all can reach to this part of the video. When you're singing these songs, mm -hmm. it happens to me all the time. A lot of times I have ailments. Little, little ailments here and there, and I just go into a praise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have the advantage of playing the piano. Lucky you. Is that okay? <laughs> All right. I got the guitar. That's you have right. the guitar. So yes. I have the advantage of being my own minstrel. Right. But you don't have to play an instrument. No. Play. Look at a lot of the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the spirituals that were a cappella. Mm -hmm. You didn't need them. And if you want some music, then you can go on uh, iTunes or YouTube iTunes, and what have you. Sir There's Walter music Jones everywhere. Hymns. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go to some of my hymns. I do a hymn of the week that you can just pop in on YouTube. There is a song one day I, I kept hearing it in my spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, Forever you're my king. Forever you're my king. Yes, sir. And mm -hmm. I, when I went to go to study, I put the headphones on, and mm -hmm. that was the first time I heard it by Bishop Bl Charles Blake, mm -hmm. the original one. Mm -hmm. I tried my best half that night. I was stunned. And with the hef headphones on, you hear everything, the bass, yes, you do. The, the horns, if they're being mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I, I couldn't even study. Wow. And I just went into worship half that night. <laughs> and, and, I mean, it was so, it was so, it was like I was in heavenly places. And yeah. I just closed my eyes. My family was in the next room. Really? Whatever, do, whatever they were doing, I could care less. <laughs> but it took me from earth, so to speak, and placed me in another atmosphere mm -hmm. all that night. And I woke up the next day with the, and I, I introduced it to the church and, and then to others. And it blessed their hearts as well. <laughs> God knows how to move in his music. Yes, he does. He if does. If it's the proper music. If it's the proper music. That's why I say these hymns are just perfect for these. Because they were writing songs. Uh, that was speaking to a certain situation. Of course, they were writing. My, many of their songs were scriptural based. Yes. Okay. And all of our songs that we do are mm -hmm. supposed to be scriptural based. They're supposed based. to be scriptural based. Yes. Uh, those of you who listen to me on Spreaker.com, you'll be able to hear these other songs that I'm going to add in the outro. Uh, I got some Albertina Walker songs. says, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. For those of you who are still here. <laughs> <laughs> kept by his blood uh, Richard Smallwood has a song called Healing Healing Don't be discouraged Don't be discouraged Okay um, New Birth Total Praise Choir I have a song called Be Healed It's a great song by the way Oh um, yes Yeah I'm going to be playing all those uh, on the outro On You can only hear it on Spreaker uh, Also Hosanna Music Hosanna Music is some of the great music mm -hmm. Okay this is a cassette tape that I saw Alright See how old it is mm. Okay my mom, myself, and I can't remember who else was accompanying us. I don't mm. know if dad, whatever. Well, we went to Azusa conference. This was 1994 mm. in Tulsa when, mm. when uh, what's our dear brother, who, mm -hmm. who Carlton Pearson, Carlton Pearson mm -hmm. uh, was hosting it. And um, I went into the family bookstore. That, that, was that national chain, and that, I think they call it the family. Yeah, something. it used to be Zondervan Bookstore. Zondervan, really? Yeah, was, they were okay. the own writers of the book. Oh, wow. Company, yeah, sure. They, Family Christian Bookstore. And I saw this cassette sitting on the, on, on the thing. Mm -hmm. Or this is before I was into CDs. Mm -hmm. You know? It's before any of us was into CDs. Yeah, exactly. And it said Hosanna Music Scripture Songs, mm -hmm. Songs of Healing. Mm -hmm. And I got in the car and popped this in, and I heard that one, the first track, and I was floored. Mm -hmm. I went into this praise. Um, and I said, this, is tape, this tape is going to be with me for the rest of my life. Mm. Now, that was 1994. Yes. I, mean, I was a man of my word. Wow. I'm going to play these songs uh, in the outro. The one is called All His Benefits. And these are scripture songs. These mm. are songs. Because healing is a benefit. All scriptures. This one here is called All His Benefits, uh, Psalms uh, from Psalms 103 and 2. Mm -hmm. And the next one is called By His Wounds, called Isaiah 53 and 4. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if you guys can find this. You know, I, it was difficult for me to even find this on iTunes. They have they have a whole lot of songs of healing, but this particular one was uh, released 1994. 19, actually, uh, it says 1996. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, not 94. There's another one in 94. Mm -hmm. This is 1996 interview. So Azusa did start in 1994. Five. I think when I went there, this was their second or third one. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was I was young then, so I don't remember that much. Um, uh, so um, here's what I, what we need to do. I want to I want to end this with a prayer. 
uh, because I want to play T.D. Jakes as he prays or he speaks against these diseases and uh, that you might be healed from his presence is here to heal. Um, and you can, um, what I'll do is I'll play it in its entirety uh, when I edit this uh, in my studio. Uh, but I want to um, talk about, um, we've got about three minutes, the circulatory system. The circulatory system also called the cardiovascular system mm -hmm. or the vascular system of an organ system that permits blood to circulate and transport nutrients. And I'm bringing this up because I want the both of you to pray. Uh, uh, um, uh, amin uh, amino acids, electrolytes, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones, and blood cells to and fro from cells to cell in the blood, in the body, to provide nourishment and help fight diseases mm. and it stabilizes our temperature and our pH balances and you hear these words all the time but y'all ignore this this is the circulatory system this is the system that God has put together it is a perfect system God made it perfect mm -hmm. we have tainted it we have put poison in it which clogs up our arteries and our, our hearts beat irregular and sometimes we have birth defects because of the sin of Adam and Eve all right causes the sin of the world but God came and sent his son and because his stripes now we can claim our healing it says we were we are and we, we are, were and we were okay That's it. so the cardiovascular system the arteries and the capillaries and the veins and coronaries and and the heart and the lungs and the system the systemic circulation and the brain and the kidneys and the lymphatic all these things here are words you heard in school you've ignored, but that's that whole entire system that God has given man the ability to call them out mm. and classify them so that we know that when there's a hurt and a pain there, the doctor says, that's that system there. Mm -hmm. and here's how I'm going to treat it. God has given the doctors the ability to know where to go. Mm. All right? Ella Jones, you kick it off. Give me about a minute. And uh, Sister uh, Smith, you give us a minute of prayer that our, our circulatory system is regulated. Mm. Uh, so that God can move. Father, in the name of Jesus, first of all, God, we love you. We praise your holy name, God. There is none like you. We adore you and we worship your holy name. God, you are a God of love, a God of peace, a God of understanding. We praise your holy name for great is your faithfulness. And you promised that you would never leave nor forsake us. And we trust and we stand upon your word. For with the blood of Jesus Christ, we are healed today. Father, I speak against anything that brings uh, irregularity in our bodies right now. Mm. I pray for the heart that it will pump, God, the way that you installed and you willed it to pump and for the blood and the arteries to flow. Lord, we've been eating these things that are not good for our digestive system. And God and the, the devil have placed things in the food to destroy your people. But God, your will and your word overrides the will and the word of the enemy any day. We stand on the precious promises of Jesus Christ. For with your stripes we are healed. And I pray that every blood vessel move, every artery flow, every bone be back in its rightful position. Every blood pump, artery, every heart move the way it's supposed to be. We pray for oxygen. Oxygen, Lord, mm. let oxygen flow. Mm -hmm. Let it flow in the hearts. God, there are people who are striving to breathe without a machine. We pray that you would allow them to breathe easily. God, you breathe the breath of life in man, and man became a living soul. Yes. At the breath of God and at the presence of God, heal. Heal right now, Lord. Take away the discomfort in the bodies and the minds and let it flow. The way you have made it to flow. We stand on your promises and we stand on your will in Jesus' name. Father God, we pray tonight, oh God, that you would move by your power, oh God, and move by your might today, oh God. Send a revival to our bodies right now, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, resuscitate us, Lord God, as we have listened, Father God, and we have taken in right now, Lord God. Father, we pray as we seal each and every prayer by the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we declare that by his stripes we are healed, Lord God. We thank you for the wisdom intake right now, Lord God. And Father, we desire to be better stewards. 
stewards and good stewards over the knowledge, Father God, over the wisdom that we have received, Lord God. Give us wisdom, Father God, so that we can live the more abundant life that was promised unto us today, Lord God. God, we shall it, and as we stand and affirm your word, Lord God, we know that you're not a man that you should lie today, Lord God. Father God, heal our bodies, heal our mind, heal our spirit, Lord God, that you may get the glory in Jesus Christ's name. We pray, Lord God, we declare and decree it to be so. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Uh, y'all go to Facebook uh, and uh, look at the three videos and also go to Spreaker.com and to uh, hear uh, it tonight. I'll have it up tonight as uh, early as possible as I can, okay? Pray for myself. I pray that I may be strengthened and healed as well for this cough that I'm having, this respiratory situation. Pray for my respiratory system. Amen. And, uh, and pray for Annette Harris and her family as she lost her father, uh, that, that they will memorialize him uh, this uh uh, while well they already yes, and uh, so let's continue to pray for her family, Harris family, all these families who lost their loved ones. All right, thank you, Brittany, for being patient with us. Gotta go, y'all. We'll talk to you Monday. There's no show tomorrow, okay, Brittany? So all the John show. Whether it was healing your body or your marriage, healing your mind or your finances. If you've ever been afflicted or wounded and thought, oh, it looks like I'm going down and I can't get up. All you have to do is step in his presence. David said, in thy presence there is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. I don't care what's wrong with you, you can be healed right now. Maybe you're wrestling with a sickness. And the doctor's done all he can do. It's not over. Till God says it's over. If you stretch your hand up in his presence, he can heal you now. That thing that looks impossible. Medicine's not working anymore in the presence of our God. Right where you are, I speak healing to your marriage. I speak healing to your finances. I speak healing to your children. I speak healing to your heart, to your emotions, to your life too. There's nothing that the master cannot do. <laughs> Press your way through the crowd Like the woman with the issue of blood Tell yourself I got to touch him tonight I need a healing Heal my marriage right now Touch my mother, my father, my sister, my brother Oh God I'm looking to you uh -huh. The Holy Spirit says, be healed right now. Do it now. Be healed. Be healed. Check yourself. God is able to heal you now. Since you're in his presence, let it heal. Uh -huh. Somebody's little boy is HIV positive. And he's sick and he's withering away, God said. Somebody's got a lump in their breasts, they're worried and don't know what to do. God said, Since you're in his presence, oh my God, why don't you let him heal you? Forget about the concert, forget about who's standing around you, slip in the glory and be healed. Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity in the presence of the Lord. I 
feel him touching somebody. Slip your palms up. Be healed. Come on. Just touch somebody's hand, make contact with them, and let the healing power sweep this place. Somebody watching this video, the, the Spirit of the Lord God is coming into your situation in the presence of God. <laughs> His healing power touching you in the hospital, laying in your bed, your body's right with pain, but the Holy Ghost told me to tell you. Be I brought you some medicine from heaven. Take a dose of this anointing. Hey, my God, my God, my God. Demons tremble in his presence. Demons tremble in his presence. They tremble whenever Jesus shows up. He commands it in the presence. In the presence of the Lord. We take authority. We take authority over cancer. In the presence of the Lord. We take authority over diabetes in the presence of I command you to come down in the presence. Low blood pressure, I pull you up in the presence of the Lord. Lupus, you got to go right now. Get out of that house in the blood. The spirit of depression, you've gone as far as you can go. It's over. In the, in the, the, no, in the presence, in the presence of the Lord. Man, a healing of your body. Is your blood stop right where you are under arrest? The Holy Ghost said that condition is under arrest. Stop, cease, desist. It's over in the presence of the Lord. Oh, I feel His glory. Be healed.
Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His goodness. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His goodness. Who forgives all your sins? Yeah. Oh, 
tried to devour me. Yes, he did. Cloud in my way, so I could not see. But let me tell you, God wouldn't let him. He wouldn't let him. He wouldn't let him take me down.
the Lord gave me this song in a dream. And when I woke up, I knew that was a healing song. And I knew that God had ordained that because I was going through some spiritual pain of my, of my own. And it was speaking to my soul. And I just wanted to encourage other people who might be going through pain that God is a healer. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. There's no situation that you're going through that's so difficult that God cannot fix it. I don't care what your friends say. I don't care what your family says. I don't care what whoever's around you says. There's healing. For your soul and for your spirit. So we want you to be encouraged tonight. And and not be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Joy comes in the morning. Know that God is now. Know that God is now. Don't try to fight the battle yourself, but stand still, stand still and look up. look up. God is going to show up. God is going to show up. He's standing right by. We want to say that one more time for somebody who may be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Because joy is on the way. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Know that God is now. That God is going to show up. God is going to show up. He is standing right by. He is standing by. For those of you who may not know it, there's healing. There's healing for your sorrow. Woo. There's healing for your pain. from the rain.
Gents, if you missed any of today's show, head to Spreaker.com and search the Sir Walter Jones Show and listen to this show and past shows. Now remember, search for the Sir Walter Jones Show on Spreaker.com. That's Spreaker spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And enjoy. You have been listening to the Sir Walter Jones Show, where Sir Walter Jones provides you with a biblical perspective on everyday life. Stay connected to Sir Walter Jones at his website, www.sirwalterjones.com. Search The Sir Walter Jones Show on Facebook or follow on Twitter at Sir Walter's Music. Until next time, thank you for listening to The Sir Walter Jones Show with Sir Walter Jones. Right, Mr. Walters? Mm.